Welcome to Gamescom. We're here at the 11-bit studios booth and I'm talking to Stan and we're going to take a look at Anomaly Warzone Earth on the PS3. Stan, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about the game? Uh, hi, hello. My name is Stan. I'm from uh, 11-bit studios. I'm a producer here and now we are here in the, at Gamescom showing you off uh, four of our games starting off with Anomaly Warzone Earth on the PSN that will be released later this month in Europe. Okay, so do you want to tell us a little bit more about the game for anyone that doesn't know, just what it is? Um, if nobody ever heard about Anomaly, which is uh, highly unlikely because this game is already out on the market on the seven platforms so far, so PC, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, uh, Xbox 360, and now we're coming to the PSN with our greatest titles. It is an inverted tower defense game, so a tower offense when you control uh, the squad of the units and attack extraterrestrial machine towers. Yeah, it's quite a strange concept, taking the, the standard tower defense idea and just going, okay, let's see it from the other side. Exactly, and it, we explored it, we've uh, tinkered with it, and it's awesome to play with. So we've actually got two guys playing co-op at the minute. Do you want to tell us how the co-op works? Yes, uh, the co-op is an exclusive feature for the PS3 edition and it is a local two people cooperative multiplayer mode and it features uh, two maps well known for some players uh, from the single player endless modes and that is uh, Baghdad Mayhem and Tokyo Raid. Uh, here with us we have uh, the, the Tokyo Raid. It is uh, compiled out of 18 waves of uh, different objectives. Um, we will move on to the another island here because this uh, third wave has the objective get across the bridge while the fourth wave will have a different objective as you see escort the unit to the bridge. Uh, so uh, different, uh, different objectives randomized here and we have our squad and there are two commanders. That's the difference between uh, the co-op mode and the single player mode. Two commanders controlling one squad where the first commander buys managed units while the second one, and this is what he is going uh, to do right now, he's uh, selecting the route for the squad to follow. And as you may notice, uh, they both have four abilities here. Uh, two of them are the big ones and the two smaller ones. The big ones are the abilities that each of them can throw by themselves, while the second uh, two smaller ones are the abilities that they can boost. And here we can see that they boosted each other's abilities and uh, there's a boosted repair and now there's a boosted decoy right here. And the boosted abilities gives the larger range and more durability to the ability and, uh, of course, the greater power of it. Uh, what else? You see, you saw the chainer here being loaded up and unloads his power. It's a special uh, unit, also available exclusive for the PS3 users. And uh, this is an ability. Uh, this is a unit uh, that is uh, basing his power on an electricity. It charges up when it sees an enemy, and it unloads the electricity upon six consecutive uh, towers uh, nearby. So it's very good for doing some. A massive uh, crowd control here and uh, another exclusive feature uh, apart from the seventh unit so you have like seven unit right here now so we can tinker with the squad tinker with tactics a little bit more and uh, another exclusive feature here on the ps3 is the disabler we cannot see him right now because it's uh, something like a bonus round and the uh, disabler is a tower which simply disables one of your units so it is an unable to fire. Uh, so one uh, new tower, one new unit and an exclusive uh, co-op mode. Uh, we hope uh, that you will have as much fun as we did testing it. It's quite crazy to see that you know, you've got it out on all the other platforms already and yes. so you're bringing it to the, the PS3 and the PSN. The, you've actually put something extra in for them. That, that's yes. really a nice thing to do, that you've kind of gone, well, what can we do? What can we add for them? Uh, that's especially rewarding for the players who played, for example, the iOS version of the game and uh, yeah. still wanted some more content. Then you can you know, explore other platforms, for example, tactical trials on the yeah. Xbox and now exclusive co-op 
the best mode, the best, best exclusive content that we produced here uh, with the Anomaly franchise so far. I also have to say, looking at it and the way it seamlessly just moves between the levels and there's no drop or anything, it seems to run very smoothly no. on the PS3. No, we have uh, ported it very well and this is thanks to our uh, own technology, it is called a liquid engine and yep. now with the PS3 version we are proving that this technology works, works ve very well. As you may notice, there is, uh, as you notice already, there is no drops uh, in the frame rate. The graphics looks perfectly the same as in the PC and the 360 version. So it's a perfect port, we're very glad about it. And as I said, we're happy to launch it this month for you. It's quite nice to also see the two guys that we've got playing, pausing it and then working out yeah. the strategy <laughs> of how they're going to get through the level. Exactly. It's like, okay, let's go this way and then we'll go this way and yeah. then we'll, we'll try and get because together. Because it's not, not easy. It's not that as easy as it looks because we are now playing the casual level just to you know, not, not fail during the presentation. But uh, I myself uh, went through the advantage, uh, you know, the medium level of the difficulty yeah. and it's extremely difficult to finish it within the, uh, the two missions that we are available. So you just mentioned difficulty. How many difficulty levels are there? There are th three uh, difficulty settings, uh, as it was in the single player. Uh, so uh, easy, oh, <laughs> as I said, as I said, it's not as easy as it looks. Like a third or fifth le level, fifth wa wave maybe. So how has the difficulty been balanced with two players in mind? Uh, well, um, first and foremost, uh, there's an increase in damage that you will notice. So uh, the towers uh, give you more damage. And the second thing is the m you'll see the more powerful towers placed on the same places as the uh, less powerful towers uh, on the lesser uh, difficulty settings. So for example, on the casual, you'll see the blaster, while on the hardcore, you'll see, uh, for example, a hacker and an energizer or a be behemoth. Yeah, so that also plays into the aspect of if you have played it on another platform yes. and then you're coming to the, P uh, the PlayStation version and you're sat there thinking, okay, I'll get a friend in. It's all right, I know this level, I've done it before. Yeah. Things are going right. to have changed. <laughs> so your strategy and your tactics aren't going to work. And uh, they, well, they could work, but you'll have to be very, very careful with it and uh, look out how, how the placement of the towers changed uh, between uh, each missions and uh, also between the difficulty settings here. Okay, so do you want to tell us a little bit more about all the different units? They were just setting up the squad a moment ago. Do you want to sure. give us some more general sure. information? If we can go to the squad setting, yes, and maybe uh, sell one of those units so we can have more cash. Okay, and now we have uh, seven units available here. As I said, this is an APC, the uh, lowest price unit, it is a uh, heavy armored but uh, very uh, low on attack while the crawler is the opposite we might say uh, very uh, strong unit but uh, also low on ar very armor. Weak armor but very, very weak high attack, armor, yeah. yes. Uh, the tank is fairly balanced in, uh, in this way but it is also a tanking unit yep. as you might suppose and the shield, the shield is a special unit which gives a uh, force field in two nearby units, yep. so uh, one uh, riding on the front and one from behind. I always found myself using a lot of yes, shields. Yes. They so seem very to, useful. You have to be uh, careful with this, but they uh, can be very tricky when uh, faced with the storm rays, which uh, you know yes. sucks out the energy of it. Yes. So it w it will be wise to sell the unit uh, then and. Uh, that, that was the thing. I, I had shield units, and I thought to myself, "Aha, I'm untouchable." And then it kind of <laughs> no. Yeah. So it is designed in such a way that when we place such a unit as a shield, there will be some adversary to counter uh, the abilities of those units. Yeah. So we'll do it in this port, we'll do it in Anomaly Korea the same. Yeah. So every time we'll explore the idea of uh, giving as, uh, one feature and giving a counter feature uh, to yeah. um, you know, our enemies. So can we take a look at the price and stats of the new unit? Is that uh, able to question be... Question stats of the uni u new unit. I think that if we uh, buy the APC and sell the tank, we'll have more money. So we can uh, see it more clearly. Yes, uh, and the stats for the uni new unit, uh, okay, are over there. There. So it's, as you see, on the basic level, it's fairly... Uh, high attack, but fairly high low attack. armor. Well, even... Even the lowest uh, 
a little bit lower than the crawler in the case of attack and very low on the armor. But as I said, it, it has the chain ability. Six units. Can we consecutive can we, units? Can we get to see it? Can we try okay, it out a little? Let's try it out. It's the best on the on. Okay, it's loading up right now. And now it unloads, but you have. Uh, we haven't seen it. Okay, and it hits one unit if no 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 units are nearby. Same here. It is best working in the crowds, but now we're on the wave one, so we won't see <laughs> it affecting a lot of units. Oh, maybe yes. We got that way. I think wave. they're gonna take it up and pass the other ones for us. Exactly. The effect that it's firing out looks very, very nice. Yes, and uh, take in mind what uh, do you can you en encounter during this uh, during those waves. Remember uh, the hacker? Yes. This is the unit that hits the ground. There we go. And yes, there we go, and um, turns your units against you. Yes. So you can use it with the chainer to load it up, uh, and know? then chain across. A and chain across. That's it very and dangerous. And and load uh, against the tower, so it's very useful tactic in the fur further on for more experienced players. Okay, so do you want to give people a little bit more information about where they can, when it will be coming out, how much it will cost, where yes, they can grab uh, it? Yes, it will be coming out on the 29th of August, so very near in Europe for our standard price of 899 euros, yep. and later on in September in the US. Okay, wonderful, and for. Yeah, those guys that haven't already picked up a copy of Anomaly on any other platform, is there a website they can go to to find out more information? Uh, of course, uh, there's a basic website of uh, www.anomalythegame.com, yep. but you can also access it uh, via our um, company website, so 11bitstudios.com. Okay, wonderful. Well, Stan, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you very much.